Hi, my name's Bob Grinier, and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So today, this 29th of March 2024, I am releasing a DZI image, a deep zoom image, that took about two hours to capture yesterday, the 28th of March 2024, of a few millimeters squared of Bin Chuen Huang's uh, reactor, his DHX2 reactor, for your investigative pleasure. And this unfortunately will only work on PCs, but with it you can explore this 16-bit 23,488 by 22,623 pixel image and you can extract data from it and observe phenomena on it. So firstly, you can zoom into the material and you can pan around it really rather nicely. And what you can also do is down the bottom right here, you can adjust the contrast so that you can bring out the relevant detail of the wonderful sample. Thank you to Bin Chuen Huang for making this available to me on the 29th of December 2023. So once you've got the contrast as you like it, uh, so you can see the form here. You've got a whole bunch of data down here. You can turn on the scale and uh, you'll note that if you zoom in uh, the scale will adjust. This is accurate. There might be some errors in um, actually stitching together the files, but largely uh, it's as it should be. And you can also do things like measure these things. So I can zoom into one of our structures and we can use a length tool here and we can measure across our structure here so we can see uh, this one in this case is measuring splatted down there at about 23 and you can also add annotations and then you can do a screen grab of what you're looking at and share with the community okay so uh, let's have a look at our one of our little Oreos down here so I'll have a look at this one so we can go across there and measure that. So we can see it's about five microns, as Ken Shoulders would say, across the width. And um, I guess you can take from here to here is more accurate for the height. So it's not square aspect. Of course, it is a cylinder. Um, we can del delete those two. You can also measure angles. So if you wanted to for instance, look at the angle uh, of something. Let's have a look at the angle of one of these ejector pieces here. They seem to have these angles on them. And uh, we will have a look at that. Um, so and maybe I can get this right. Like that. And I've got that round the wrong way, haven't I? <laughs> Uh, right, move that into the center or point to there, and we will grab that and put that down there, and we will put that up there. So there, there we go. Look at that angle, isn't that interesting? Uh, I wonder if that's significant at all. But anyway, that's the angle it is. Yeah, something like that. 51 point, what is it? I don't know. 51 point, is it 51.8? I don't know. I wonder if that's significant. I wonder, wonder if that's significant. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, so it's quite, quite, quite a pleasure uh, to move around this. See if you can see something that you think the community should be interested in. 
and also if um, there are things that I've yet to discuss that I will be discussing soon that you can derive from this wonderful piece of data. Please share forward into the community. So thank you very much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.